Good evening, my friends. Good evening, good evening. Come on in and make yourself at home. Say hello. Alrighty. Looks like we're looking good on the computer. Phew, that's always good to know. Hi, Kim. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. So we'll give it just a few seconds um, while we're waiting for people to find us. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining. Oh, me too, Kim. <laughs> I hope you like tonight's project. <laughs> I got to say, this one's kind of a, a par for the course for how I feel tonight. <laughs> I've been feeling a little under the weather, so I'm, I am I uh, am trying to make myself, you know, stay creative, keep going. So, yeah. Hi, Sally. Oh, welcome. Welcome from, oh, rainy St. Louis. Yuck. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. Oh, thanks, Kim. You're so sweet. Um, a couple of announcements tonight, and I'll do it here at the top of the hour, and I'll do it uh, later on when we are getting more people in here. Hey, Sharon, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, a couple of things. One, really exciting. Well, there's two exciting things, actually. One, because there were... Uh, technical difficulties today. Um, they are extending the online extravaganza for another 24 hours. So you have until midnight tomorrow night, mountain time, to take advantage of that awesome sale that we're having. So if you want to check it out, uh, you know, you can always go over and find out what's going on at my online store here. Oh my goodness, we're all over the country tonight. You guys are making my heart so happy. Hi, Sally. Hi, Debbie. And Lisa, oh, Kathleen from Newport News. Yep, Kathleen, I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas, so I will be here tonight and 10 more nights. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, Delaware, checking in Delaware. Last night we had someone from um, Canada, too. That was great. So, um, anyway, back to the exciting stuff. Online extravaganza has been extended another 24 hours, so be sure to uh, check it out. Uh, check out all the deals. There are some things that are already sold out, and um, people have been really taking advantage of stamp and blends and cardstock and things that you know you're going to use. You know you're going to use. So when you get and get it on sale, that's the best. So that is that. The other, oh my gosh, amazing, exciting, wonderful news! I am over the moon about. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Millie and Lorraine. Hi, girls. The other great news is ah, the angels are singing. We have been waiting for this for months, starting December 1st. What's today? The 24th. So in six more days. Six more days? Yeah, 30 days has November. Yeah. This little guy here, our little stamping, cut, and emboss machine is available for customers. Who's excited? Me. So this little guy right here is going to be available. I cannot wait. Um, if you are a demonstrator, remember, if you get the starter kit, um, you will get your discount off of this. You can get 20% off of this um, and use your stamp and discount. How fun is that? Love it. Hey, Michelle. Oh, good to see you. I love your new house. Really pretty. All right. So those are two big things. The new little guy here, stamp, stamp and Cut and Emboss. It takes me a long time to get used to the new title. Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine will be available starting December 1st. I'm very, very excited about that. And again, don't forget, the online extravaganza has been extended for a whole another 24 hours. So you're not going to want to miss out on that. All right. So, you know, last night, um, for all those people who placed orders last night, they all are getting the red rhinestones in the mail from me as my free gift for the first day of Christmas. So tonight we're going to see what else we're going to get for tonight for the second day of Christmas. So 
I hope you like this. It made me laugh. I hope it makes you smile. <laughs> it was a really fun one to put together. So I'm using some grays and blacks and some plaid tonight. And I had to use those colors for this project. So here we go. Here's tonight's fun little Christmas treat. <laughs> This would be great to leave um, in a stocking. It would be fun to um, give your husband, <laughs> anybody. But some little chocolate coal here. Um, I actually uh, got mine. You can get it at several places I've seen it, but I got mine at Dollar Tree. It's the Double Crisp Coal. These are little chocolates and they're wrapped in foil. So you can get a couple of these out of each pack. I mean, for a dollar, that's a pretty good, good little treat there, if you ask me. So this is my little treat for tonight. I'm going to show you how I made it. Um, all of the supplies are available at my online store. And tonight's freebie is going to be the iridescent um, pearls right here. These guys are, let me think of the whole name these are oh yeah it's iridescent pearls i actually got it right the first time <laughs> so the iridescent pearls they are so pretty they catch the light and they are so gorgeous so um when you place a 50 dollars order tonight um for the second day of christmas i mean you will get the iridescent pearls as a free gift from me so make sure you use the host code and i'll know that you want today's gift all right we're going to use them on here oh thanks i'm so glad you like it Hey, Kim. Hi, Lisa. Thank you. Hi, Sally. Thank you. All right, so let's make it. So here is what I came up with with this. I wanted to be able to display some coals so it, you know, kind of, you could tell what it was, but I loved the Bah Humbug, and I love this playful alphabet. So this one, I will say I've used more than any other alphabet dies I've ever owned. Well, probably about the same as I used the two-inch letter dies. Those will never leave my hands. <laughs> so we're going to use the playful alphabet tonight. So this one is made from um, gray granite. This is gray granite and black. And then we're going to use some of the plaid from the plaid tidings designer series paper. And these are the two. This is the one I used on the original. This is the one we're going to use tonight. I'm bringing some color in there with a little bit of the um, cherry cobbler, a little bit of shaded spruce. So just a little bit to brighten that up a little bit. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Marilyn. So let me show you the measurements and get you started. And I'll post these like I did last night. I'll post the uh, <clears throat> the information in the next post and I'll put the measurements and everything right in the comments, okay? Okay, so what you will need is a piece of, I used, this one is, this was Smoky Slate. This is, no, this is gray granite. Sorry, this is Smoky Slate. I got it together. Don't don't worry. I'm here. <laughs> um, and this one will measure four and three eighths by eight and a half. So it's really cool because you can get two out of one sheet of cardstock, right? Like this. So cut four and three eighths, four and three eighths, and you'll get two. Um, but you are going to want to score this at two and a quarter. So if you just had one sheet of cardstock, put it on your trimmer, score it at two and three quarters, and then cut two pieces out at four and three eighths. You are good to go. They're already scored. Bam, boom. Got it? All right, so there's our base. And you'll see the base goes all the way around like this. Now, for the inside, hold our um, candies, our coal. I used another one of these clear envelopes. Now, I was thinking last night after I got off my live, some people aren't really sure where to find those envelopes in the catalog. And they are really not that, you know, prominent in there. So I thought I would show you tonight. It's on page 153 of our regular catalog. And if you look over here under medium envelopes, envelopes, however you pronounce it, <laughs> We have three different ones on here. We have the very vanilla, the whisper white, and then right down here it says clear. And you get 50 of these guys for $6, okay? So this is where you find these clear envelopes that I'm using. I used them last night to put our candy in, um, in our project, so that's where you can find them. So you need one of the clear envelopes. Then I cut a four and a quarter four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of the same cardstock. So the same 
um, smoky slate. And this is just to give stability to the piece that's going to hold my uh, candy. So this DSP, designer series paper, is also four and a quarter by five and a half, and that's just going to get adhered on there to be um, the stable stabilizing piece. Okay. Um, you're going to need a piece of basic black. Now I'm going to do I'm doing this two different ways so I can show you the options you have. This one, I don't know if you can see, I actually put the piece, this base piece into my stamp and cut and emboss machine and I laid the letters out on this front part here and cut them out and then I went back and popped that up so that the negative space is showing you the black behind there and I saved a little inside of the B's and the A for um, an easy way to be able to you know get those back in there is just use your stamp uh, or take your pick tool pick them up and then just put a little dab of glue in there and they'll fit right in okay so that's how i did this one tonight we're going to do um i'm going to do them separately with our adhesive sheet because you know how i feel about my adhesive sheets these guys are the bomb.com so this is just a strip of basic black for the lettering tonight all right now on the one if you choose to do it like i did on this one I wanted to show you there's a strip this piece here of basic black that the the uh why can't i think of the name tonight the gray granite is sitting on um this piece would be like this this one measures two and three fourths by four and three eighths so if you're looking to put a piece of basic black under there that's how you can do that now tonight i'm going to use it just as a filler and i'm going to tear the edge just like on this one i thought that looked kind of cool roughed up on there so i'm going to use that too and then i have two little pieces here these are half inch two of these are half inch by four and three eighths so i did one at the top and then one at the bottom to kind of ground it on both ends. It just made it look finished, I think. So let's see. Hi, Deb. Good to see you. So let's see. Let's get started. Let's do our little candies first. So I'm going to just bring in these two pieces. And again, these are four and a quarter by five and a half. So just standard quarter sheet of cards. Oops, I did it again. If you don't use a light touch with this, it will peel up your cardstock. And I get reminded of that when I do it wrong. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if I can do it again. There we go. You just have to lay it on there. You don't even have to push. So I'm going to line these guys up. And again, I'm just using that piece of cardstock as a little bit of a stabilizer for the back of my little piece here. Okay, now this is going to fit very nicely right into the clear envelope like that. Okay, but before I put it in, I'm going to put my candy down here uh, to just give it a little, uh, make it stable on here with some adhesive. So I'm going to bring in, I don't think I have enough of these. I don't know what happened to them. I am not even going to say that somebody in here may have eaten them. <laughs> But these little guys will get glued down here like this. I'll get more and add more later, but we'll put some in here just for kicks and giggles. So we'll put these guys down here. And this will hold nicely. You could put them on with a couple of glue dots. That would work also. Oops. So just add a little bit of your adhesive. I love this chocolate coal. I think it's just so stinking cute. Here we go. So this will be for a Scrooge who's on a diet, I guess. You get four instead of six. <laughs> that would be Scrooge, huh? All right. So now that I have that in there and all nice and adhered, I'm going to just put this into my clear envelope like that. Push it down to the bottom. And I'll just take this and seal this over like this. Now, I made this wide up here because I wanted enough room so it would be 
heavy enough. These are these are not light little pieces of chocolate. So I wanted to give it a little more stability. So I, I left this room up here so I can do my topper on there also. And it would be nice and beefy to hold all that. Okay. All right. So there's that guy. So let's go ahead and we will bring in our stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're going to cut out our Bahambuk. Now this is the regular size machine. Like I said, the um, smaller one, the miniature one, is going to be available starting December 1st, which is very exciting. So we are all very, very happy about that. All right, so on the Playful Alphabet, I think I've shown you guys this before, but I want to make sure to show you again. When you take your letters off, it's really cool because there's a little space so you know which letters are missing. How many times... Do you take things off of a die sheet and have no clue <laughs> what you're missing? This is awesome. So let's see. B-A-H and then humbug. So I need a U. B-H-U. And I need an M. And I need a G. The humbug. Oh, and I'm going to use the exclamation point. One thing that's really cool about this set also is you do have lots of different... Um, punctuation. You have the little um, hashtag here. You have the plus. Um, you have quotes. Here's our exclamation point right up here. I can get it off here. That guy there. And you'll see you have little asterisk, asterisk <laughs> um, ampersand, equal sign, question mark, colon. So you have a lot of extras in this set. This is so a great, great tool to have in your um, craft room. All right, so like I said, I've already put the adhesive sheet on the back of this piece of basic black cardstock. So I'm just going to randomly lay these guys on here and cut them out. And um, they will already be stickers because they have that adhesive sheet on the back, which I love. All right, here we go. There go. Sorry about the earthquake. My table is shaky. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I have a B A H. And an exclamation point and a U. So we will put this back in here. We pop these out of here. Um the What's I gonna say? Oh, the adhesive sheets. The adhesive sheets are really cool for any intricate dies that you have. Um, where'd my H go? Oh, <laughs> it's in there. I couldn't see it for the adhesive sheet on there. Um, really cool for any intricate dies you have. And it's just really nice to not have to worry about getting glue all over your fingers or, you know, hiding glue dots and stuff on the backs of your, your dies once they're cut out. And this, you just, once you're done, you peel it off and stick it down and you're raring to go. So if you have not tried these, you might want to ask Santa for some. Oops, wrong one. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I know. Um, December 9th is actually the last day to order for Christmas from um, Stampin' Up! To, to be guaranteed to get it in time in time for Christmas. If you have someone in your family, friends, family, relatives, whatever, that are asking you for gift ideas and you would really like to get what you love, um, you can send me your wish list and I will help them um, with their order for you and have it shipped directly to them to wrap up for you. Isn't that cool? I think so. And probably hardly anybody here <laughs> knows what I'm talking about. And this will totally date me. Um, but I, I did say when I first did my my uh, Secret Santa years ago, I said, if you're tired of getting six bottles of Jean Nate perfume, <laughs> you can uh, give your husband my number and I will help him shop for just what you want. And... There are still people who get it, so. <laughs> Oops. All right, so I have Ba. I need Humbug. 
to H U M. Oh, I have the M. I need another B. But oh, Jean the Tay. Oh my gosh, that was so big when I was growing up. That was such a big deal. I think my mom got it every year. She loved it. But that just made them smile. So, all right. I'm trying not to shake the table too much. Did I get that right? B U. Oops, I forgot the G. I can't spell. Good thing I'm not teaching kindergarten anymore, huh? <laughs> there we go. Let's get you guys over. All right, so let's just pop these letters out. These really pop out quite easy from this um, from these letter dies. You can use your um, brush too if you want your die brush. Uh, that works great too. I just kind of like using my take your pick tool because I have a little more concentrated pressure on there. Um, now if I were going to do this like we did with the raised one before, I would be saving the insides of the B's here and my A so that I did not lose them. So, because you guys know how good I am at losing stuff, right? Like right on in front of me on the table, just like I, I don't see the G. Oh, there it is. Told you, I'm really good at that. There we go. Hey, Debbie Colby. Everybody say congratulations to Debbie Colby. Debbie is my assistant and her second great-grandson, Easton, was born this morning. And she, oops, she is down there. See, I wasn't paying attention, Debbie. I was all excited about the baby. Um, she's down there with them, and I could not be more thrilled for them. It makes my heart so happy. Happy, healthy baby boy. So congratulations, Debbie. We love you. All right, there's my G. Ta-da. All right, we'll move this guy. Yeah, Debbie barely made it in time. She got there yesterday evening, and what was it, Debbie, 1 a.m.? They came in and said, uh, it's time. <laughs> so, good, good, good. I'm so thrilled. All right, so now, because it's me, I'm going to put these back on here so that I don't lose them. So see how it's really simple. You know exactly where your your dies go. And you can tell if you're missing any of them. Love that. Thumb bug. There we go. And my H. Exclamation. And my M. All right. So if you don't have the playful alphabet, it's a good one. Check it out. All right. Now. I'm going to go ahead and pull in my base for our topper, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my little strip of, oops, I didn't cut it long enough. What was I thinking? Michelle's suit, for Pete's sake. I need another piece of black. It's funny because it's my design, right? You think I'd know. <laughs> All right, let's see. What did I say it was? Four and three eighths. That's what I thought I did. Four and three eighths by one half. Cut two more. There we go. All right. Four and three eighths by one and a half. And my ba. Humbug. There we go. All right. So now this will go up here. Phew. Got it right that time. Thank goodness. There. Click. Put this guy up here. And I want to go ahead and put this on here so I'll know what space I have left for my lettering. Like that. And I'll do the other one down here. Nice thing about this Stampin' Seal Plus, you can see exactly where the breaks are in it. 
It is such a great adhesive. I, I'm using this a ton instead of just the stamp and seal. I don't know why, but I just love it. It's kind of like when we had fast fuse before I used that a ton. That's too wide, huh? I bet this is too wide. Ha ha ha. It is. All right, you know what? I know. I'm so professional. I know, I know. You guys shake your head at me. Let's do it again. Eight and a half by four and three eighths. Shell suit. Scored at two and a quarter. There we go. Try, try again. Whoop. Where'd it go? There we go. All right. I'm skipping that. I'm going to put the lettering on. I don't trust myself. I'll decorate later. <laughs> Let's do our ba. So I'll do my B. And I did them a little wonky so that um, you don't have to line them up. That's because that's a cool way to do it. <laughs> we did. Thanks, Debbie. And did you hear about the mini cutter? Mini cutter is going to be available starting December 1st. That was really exciting. All right, so here's our ba. Let me see if I can scooch this guy. Scooch, you scooch? Yes, you will, very nice of you, thank you. Ba, and then our humbug. So H-U-M would be the left side. B. UG. All right, so H-U-M. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my um, M on because this will be, the middle would be like right about here. You can measure if you want. I think you know me well enough that you know I don't. Um, H-U-M. There we go. Humbug. Come on. I cut all my fingernails off. Now I can't peel. <laughs> all right. Humbug. Whoops. It really does stick. See that? Little hum, little bug. I think this is just a darling little fun treat. Uh, Lindsay will watch, I don't know what it is about Christmas Carol, but she will seriously watch it all year. She loves that movie. For some reason, she likes the one with Jim Carrey the most. I don't know why, but she does. All right, there's that. There's that. Got a little fuzzy on there. Now I need my exclamation. Did it get lost? Oh no, there it is. Okay, you guys scoot off because you're killing me here. You're killing me, Smalls. There we go. I'm so excited to see so many new friends from different places around the US. It's just so, so exciting. All right, let's try this little guy. I wonder if I can peel it with this. Probably not. Oh, cut it out. Oops. I just like keeping it real. <laughs> you guys know if you come here, you just get the real deal. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. There we go. There's my little bottom for that. Bah humbug. Now, see over here and over here? What I did was I brought in some of the matching designer series paper and did a really cool little doodad with that. So what I did was I brought in my um, classic label punch. 
I went in and just punched like that. Then I put it back in and see where, let me get it so it holds first. Let's see. So I'm just lining it up. Whoop, not like that, I'm not. <laughs> see the point here? That's gonna be the back end of this little arrow. So I am going to just punch. So there's one. And now I'll do a longer one. Let's see. Probably about like that. For the other side. <laughs> Thanks, Marcy. <laughs> You're so sweet. Okay. So this is going to pull in those colors, right? And actually, I didn't even use the tail on these. I did. I cut them off. I forgot about that. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together first, and then we'll put our, um, see, I ate the other chocolate. This person's on a diet. They weren't that bad. <laughs> they were just a little bad. This guy, really bad. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got to do my bottom piece here. So this is going to go under here, and again, for stability, but you could just put a little strip under here to decorate like I did here. This one has the whole piece because these are the negative space that I cut out the where I cut out the letters. But this one, we could do a smaller strip. So let's trim this guy off just for fun. Isn't that fun? I love it, Angela. It's really, really a cool, cool little technique. I always feel so smart when I do stuff like that. <laughs> All right, so this is going to go under our little bottom piece here. So I'm going to take it. I know some people freak about this. We're just going to tear our cardstock. It's not a big deal. Don't be brave. You can do it. Let's give it a little ragged Ebenezer uh, cratchit. There we go. So this is going to get adhered right under there. So I will put some Hmm, what should I use? What should I use? I think I'll use my tear and tape because I want a little more control over where it's going. Love me some tear and tape. So I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom edge. Like that. Like that. And then we'll just peel off the little activator and I'm going to put this on here on my grid paper. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why it's, it's awesome to have grid paper because you can use the grid to make sure your um, pieces are adhered straight. So I'm going to line it up over there, line it up over here, give it a little push like that. Ta-da! So this guy will go right here like this. And that actually works out quite well with those four little pieces. Okay, so I'm going to then go back in and I'm going to put some um, Stamp and Seal Plus here on the back over here and some back here to hold my um, candy panel. Oops, in there. Come on. You can do it. This is such a fun, fun little treat. Makes me laugh. Okay, there's that. Give it a little press. Bring this down, give it a little press. Like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, let's do a little strip here at the top since I screwed up the other one. We'll do just a little strip. Just a little guy. Love that trimmer. This little guy is going to go right up here at the top. Like that. I'm using all kinds of adhesive tonight. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Jan. I was so relieved to know I said your name right the other night. <laughs> and when I was teaching kindergarten, I did learn all their names, but I, 
that's one of the reasons if you, oops if you listen to me everybody's honey sweetie you know that's where it all started when i was learning names of my kids in kindergarten and they were my kids after the first day they were mine <laughs> oh there we go okay that looks great <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna take our two little pieces of designer paper. And don't forget, the freebie tonight is those gorgeous pearls, and we're gonna use those in just a sec. So remember, um, $50 orders get this freebie tonight. Last night's freebie um, was the red rhinestones. Love me some free stuff. All of that and a sale to boot. Can't beat that. All right, so I'm just gonna glue this over here, let it hang off the edge, and then I will trim it. There we go. Do 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 do. All right, I'll do the other side. Like so. I hope you guys are enjoying the 12 days of Christmas so far. I know it's only day two, but I sure am having fun. This is kind of cool. This is the first year I've ever done it. Did I make it a little wonky? Kind of, but you know, Ebenezer would be wonky, right? Probably. All right. Trim. Trim. All right, let's put some bling bling. A little sparkle over here and over here. And then I did the little dot on my exclamation point. Oh, do you guys want a sneak peek of what I'm doing for Card Club on Saturday? Nobody's seen the projects. I will show you a sneak peek before I go. All right, so there's our Bah Humbug on a diet. <laughs> Here's the really bad guy. More coal. All right. So there is tonight's project. Oh, hi, Nancy. I'm so glad you're here. All right. So these are tonight's project. The Bah Humbug um, Chocolate Coal. Let me show you my um, cards for Card Club. Oh, oh, oh. So Card Club is going to be this is the first one so card club is going to be each month and um with each card club you're going to get different things this one um they they all are getting a roll of ribbon they're getting a half a pack of the gilded gems and they're getting a pack of the designer series paper that coordinates with these cards and um, they had the option to add on the stamp set because we're using the set in the class or they could add on another the other part of the bundle. So these are the, the cards for this Saturday's class. I thought I'd just give everybody a sneak peek. So we're using Curvy Christmas. This is one of them. It's our little, little curvy there. You open it up. It says, May your days be merry and bright. It's our little trees. All right. Then we have this guy. I think this is my, well, I don't know. I was going to say it's my favorite, but uh, I don't know. Here's this one. This is with the balmy blue. I mean, not balmy blue. Sorry. Um, yeah, Misty Moonlight. That. So this one is using um, one of those dies from the die set. How pretty is that? It says, thinking of you at Christmas. And all of these are from the stamp set. You can see, I just took this piece of uh, designer paper and the part that it cut off up here, this is the back side of that piece of, of designer paper just flipped around. So it has the other little pattern down there. You open that up and you have your trees. May your days be merry and bright. So they have five designs. Um, five designs? Four designs, I don't know. The four of them are laying here, I know that for sure. The fifth one might be, oh, we were taking pictures earlier, I'll have to look. This one, I, this might be my favorite actually. This one has the gold foil um, stars. These are from the Stitched Stars dies. I don't know if you can see how gorgeous that is, but this little die here fits down in the middle of this larger one. And it cuts out this intricate star here. 
and I just popped up the center there on a mini dimensional, added some of the gilded gems that they're getting in their kit. This little stamp here is from the uh, Curvy Christmas set, or stamp set also. And then, 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 oh, we do have the other one here. So here's the fourth card. I know, isn't that pretty? I love it. This one I love because I love how the, um, this is the snowflake embossing folder and this bow stamp is from the stamp set and I took it and cut it out, I fussy cut it, and then put some Wink of Stella on it. Isn't that pretty? And then these two little branches are stamped and this guy here is cut out with one of the dies. Stinking cute and you open that up. Really, really pretty. And then, the other one. Oh, I thought it was here. Nope, I don't see it. Specific point. It's really pretty and it has snowflakes on it. Anyway, you'll see it because I'm going to post photos of all of them. But anyway, that is part of this month's card club with Curvy Christmas. So I can't wait. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Yay! Yeah, we're going to have fun. And I'm going to do a live... Um, zoom we're gonna put um they can put at least one of them together you know one of each of them together with me if they want to um jump off after that they totally can but it'll be um you know a little one-on-one -on -one instruction and then they will be able to go and create their own so that my friends is all i have for you tonight so don't forget about bah humbug <laughs> um also don't forget that the sale is extended and you can find everything that's in there, in my online store right here at suitablystamp.stampinup.net. Please, please, I would love it if you would share this or like and love it, or you can even send me an angry face. It's okay. <laughs> you won't hurt my, my feelings too much. Um, but I really appreciate you all being here and your support. It means a lot to me. I'll be back tomorrow night with another fun project for the third day of Christmas. I hope you'll be here with me. If not, you can always watch it on the replay. So please say hello if you do stop by for the replay so I know you were here. All right. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, stay well, and God bless. Love ya.